see, let me know if you can see my pre presentation. All right, can you see it now, class? Kita nyo yan, statement of cash flows. Uh, yes, sir. All right, very good. Right? So we're going to wrap up our discussion about statement of cash flows last time. Uh, uh, we discussed about the concept of the statement of cash flows. We have operating activities. We have investing, all right? And we have financing activities. So at the end of this lecture, we'll be able to know how to prepare the statement of cash flows, right? For the first problem class, we are asked, the requirement is prepare cash flow from operating activities using the direct method and indirect method. Or last time na pag-aralan natin in preparing cash flows from operating activities, uh, we have direct method and indirect method. All right? So for the problem number one, MM Company reported the following income statement for the year ended December 31, 2019. So as we all know, uh, itong income statement natin is relevant in preparing our cash flows, right? So we, have, we also have... Um, the accounts like accounts receivables, allowance for doubtful accounts, inventory, prepaid insurance accounts payable, accrued salaries payable, equipment, accumulated depreciation. And then we have additional information during the year, the entity recognized doubtful account expense of 30000 and wrote off uncollectible accounts of 10000 So let's start uh, preparing cash flow from operating activities using the direct method. All right. So, I'm going to show to you my Excel. All right. Let me know if you can see it now. Can you see it now, my Excel? Kita niya ba, class? Itong Excel file ko. Okay. Can you see it now? Kita mo? Nakamute ka ata. Yes, sir. Kita na po. Alright. Very good. Let me see kung nakarecord ba siya. Alright. Nakarecord din naman siya. Alright. Go. So ngayon, uh, maggawa tayo ng uh, cash flows uh, using the direct method. Alright. So ngayon, ang sabi natin last times, uh, last time, yung paggawa natin ng cash flow direct method, di ba? Binabangga natin yung receipts natin doon sa uh, sa disbursement. All right. So unahin natin class yung cash received received from customers. All right. Ngayon class, saan natin magi-generate yung cash received from customers? Syempre, we have accounts receivable. All right. So, mag-T account tayo. So, we have accounts receivable. O, dito natin sa kabilang side lang. Ha. Accounts receivable. Okay? Accounts receivable, iti account natin. Alright. So, ngayon, magkano class ang accounts receivable beginning natin? Magkano? Accounts receivable beginning. Four hundred forty thousand. Very good. All right. And then, inalitan lang natin to, ha? Tapos ano pa? Uh, wait, uh, mga sixteen. All right. And then we have um, yung sales natin. O uh, consider natin yung sales natin are credit sales. Alright, so we have 4,500,000. Can you see it now? Yes. Okay, so yeah, credit sales 4,500,000. Itin din natin para magkasya 4,500,000. Okay? Alright, and then class, we have accounts receivable ending. Right? Accounts receivable ending. So, magkano yung ending balance ng AR natin? Makikita mo, you have 540, right? And then, class, sa AR natin, so meron din tayong doubtful accounts expense. Okay? 
actually may write off tayo. So, ang relevant dito sa atin yung write off which is 10,000. Right? Or write off. 10,000. O ngayon, ito yung collections natin. Pagkano collections natin? Kaya mo compute in? Kano collections natin? Na-compute mo magkano collections natin. So, we have, I think, uh, 4 million 390. Alright? 4 million 390. Therefore, ito yung cash received from customers natin. Okay? Yung 4 million 390. So, lagay natin dito, class, 4 million 390. Okay? Next tayo. Um, we have... Actually, yan lang yung receipts natin eh. After that, meron na tayong cash payment to creditors. Okay. Creditors. Pa cash payment to creditors naman natin, class, uh, makukuha naman natin dyan. Magigenerate natin yan sa accounts payable naman natin. Okay. Accounts payable. Okay. Copy ko lang tong key account na ito. Alright. Tapos, tanggalin ko lang ito. Mga nakasulat. Alright. So, we have beginning balance of accounts payable. Ang beginning balance ng accounts payable natin ay ito, class. We have 160. Alright. 160. Okay. And then, what's next? We have um, ending balance of 280. Lagay natin, ending 280. Right? And then, okay, meta, meron tayong purchase. Okay, yung purchases, makikita natin yan sa, ato, class. Sa income statement natin, we have 2,850,000. Understand? Bagay natin, we have purchases, 2,850,000. And then, so nandito, class, yung payment. Right? Ayan, yung cash payment to creditors. So, magkano ito? So, ang compute mo dyan is 2,730,000. Right? 2,730,000. Therefore, class, dito yan, cash payment to creditors mo ay 2,730,000. Okay? Next, we have salaries paid. Okay? Salaries paid. Right, sa salaries paid naman natin, o binigyan ka dito class ng salaries. You understand? O, titi account din natin yan. Okay, yung salaries payable natin. Okay? Titi account natin. Alright. O, meron kang beginning na salaries, I think, eto, given. Accrued salaries payable is 50,000. Uh, 80 rather, 80. Okay? 80. Beginning mo 80. And then, you have ending balance of um, 50,000. Okay? Alright. So, what's next? Meron kang expense dito. Salaries expense. May kita mo, 600,000. Right? Alright? Therefore, yung salaries paid mo, na uh, makukuha mo dyan, class, is 630,000. Right? 630. Ngayon, class, lagay natin dito, salaries paid, 630,000. 6.30. Okay? 
What's next? We have insurance paid. O, sa insurance naman natin, o, saan mo ma-degenerate doon sa prepaid insurance mo? Alright. Sa prepaid insurance natin, meron tayong uh, dito class. We have beginning balance of 10, alright, and ending balance of um, 15. So, lagay din natin ito. Nakakasabay ba? Walang question. Nakakasabay? Yes, yes. Very good, very good. Basta pag may question ka, beginning, alright, and you have ending. So, you have prepaid insurance. Ito, 10,000. Right, and then ending mo, 15. Okay? O tapos, nagbigay siya ng expense mo. Right? Ang expense mo ay magano? Ito, insurance ay magano? 20. Expense. 20. Therefore, o meron ka ditong payment. Ito yung nandito yung payment mo. So, ang insurance paid mo ay 25,000. Right? Ayan yun. Right? So, lagay natin plus insurance paid, 25,000. Right? Since disbursement, ayan, kabawas. Right? What's next? Ang next natin is rent paid. Right? Sa rent naman natin, okay? Sa rent natin, ay meron tayong, tignan natin yung balance niya. Hmm... Alright, sa rent natin, so wala naman siyang binigay. Therefore, itong expense natin, consider natin to as rent paid, itong 250 So therefore, ibawas natin itong 250 Okay? What's next? So we have um other expenses paid. Alright, yung other expenses, kasi doubtful accounts, hindi naman. Uh, we're talking about cash basis. And therefore, um, pag cash basis kasi, Hindi mo kinoconsider yan. Okay? So, we have other expenses paid. Alright. And then, magkano yan? 100,000. Okay? Okay, mas depreciation. Hindi naman natin kinoconsider yan sa cash flow natin. Okay? But therefore, net cash flows from operate, uh, provided by operating activities. Magkano yan? Compute. Can you compute magano to? Kano total natin dyan? Six, 655. Very good. 655, o oh, yan ang net cash flows provided by operating activities. Ngayon, class, let us confirm if uh, pareho lang yung sagot natin using the indirect method. Siyempre, kasi regardless of kung anong gagamitin mo, class. You understand? Dapat same lang. Okay? Same lang ang magiging sagot natin. Okay? Siyempre, pag indirect method, ito yung direct method, lagay na lang natin direct method. Ah, right? O, pagdating sa indirect method, right? Pag indirect method, syempre, ang starting point natin is yung net income. Okay? So, net income mo ay 450,000. Kita mo to, 450. Kita, 450. Yes, sir. Very yes. good. And then, kasi di ba net income, kung accrual siya ni, eh. Okay? So, tatanggalin mo yung mga... Um, Kumbaga, i-convert mo into cash. Okay? So, ang mangyayari ngayon, class, itong accounts receivable mo, inet natin siya sa AR. Okay? Kasi sa net income mo, pasok yan eh. You understand? So, 540 minus 40, okay, and 440 minus 20. Magkano yung net AR mo ng ending mo? 80. 80 ba to? Ah, 
inano mo na lahat, January 1 and December 31. Mm-mm. Very good. 100. 500. Tama, 80. 420 dito sa beginning mo, tapos 500 dito. You understand? So, meron kang increase increase in net AR. Tama ba? Kuha mo. Yes po. Very good. Increase in net, in net AR. Alright? Ngayon, ibabawas natin pag increase AP. Ano ulit logic nun? Bakit mo inabawas yun? Kasi class, di ba pag net income, sa net income, kinoconsider mo na ang income mo kahit AR pa lang. Okay? Di ba pag may, pag may sabi natin nun, di ba pag may sales ka, debit AR, credit sales. Ngayon, wala namang cash na pumasok. Ngayon, i-convert natin into cash. E eh, di therefore, ibawas mo kasi wala namang pumasok doon na cash. Naiintindihan? Nauunawaan? Naiintindihan ba yon? Yes po, yes po. Very good. Ngayon, sa inventory mo naman, beginning 750, ending 600, nag-increase or nag-decrease? From beginning, 750, ending, ang nangyari, nabawasan. So, meron tayo decrease in decrease. inventory. Alright? So, ano naman thinking mo dyan? Nag-decrease ang inventory mo, therefore, may pumasok na cash. O, di therefore, i-plus mo yung 150,000. Naintindihan ba yun? You get that? Alright, very good. Sa prepaid insurance naman natin, increase or decrease? Prepaid insurance, de- increase. Increase. Therefore, nabawasan ka ng cash dyan sa pagbili ng prepaid insurance mo. Okay? Ready, therefore, gagawin natin is... Okay? Next is... Increase in accounts payable. Okay? Increase in AP. Therefore, class, o increase in AP mo kasi from 160 to 280. O anong gagawin natin pag increase in AP? Idagdag natin. Okay? Bakit natin idadagdag? Nung accrual basis ka, nung net income ka pa, nung nagkaroon ka ng accounts payable, anong nangyari? Nag-expense ka, nag-credit ka ng payable. Walang cash involved. Involvement. Naintindihan. Ngayon, kung nag-expense ka doon, na hindi, uh, na hindi, walang cash na nag-disbursement, ibig sa ganun nangyari, nabawasan yung income mo. Okay? Kaya ang gagawin natin, since kino-convert natin siya into cash basis or cash flow, idagdag mo ulit yung increase in income. 50,000. Okay? Very good. Okay? And then, we have what else? We have decrease in salaries payable. Okay? So, decrease in salaries payable. Ito naman, anong nangyari? Bawas mo naman. Magkano ibabawas mo? 30,000. Okay? Mm-mm. Kasi, nabayaran mo naman siya. May cash flow na. May cash outflow. Right? Ganun siya. And then, what else? You have the depreciation. Okay? Ano nangyari sa depreciation natin? Okay, kasi ang nangyari naman dito, wala namang cash flow, pero nangyari, binawas mo na sa net income mo nun. O, therefore, i-add back mo ngayon. Okay? Magkano i-add back mo? Kung accumulated depreciation mo ay 290 na, 240 nung nakaraan, magkano? Very good. O, compute mo na ngayon, net cash flows, from operating activities. O dapat 655 din yan kasi pag hindi 655, o mali yan. Compute. Six fifty-five. Very good. Oh, na intindihan. You understand the difference yes. in com- yes in presenting um cash flow direct method or indirect method. Pag direct method, binagabangga mo yung receipts doon sa 
mga ano mo, mga disbursements mo. Right? Pag indirect method naman ng cash flow, anong ginagawa mo? So, may net income, yun ang starting point mo, net income accrual basis, and then you convert into cash. 